good morning good afternoon and good evening friends hope you are all doing well i welcome you all in the global software testing bench testflex i am sure you will learn a lot from this event first of all i would like to thank testflex for giving me the opportunity to discuss a very to basic topic which is how can i make a career shift from manual testing to automation testing this is there is a lot of transformation work going on in this industry and individuals also need to upskill themselves in the process i have trained more than 1k professionals in automation and almost 90% of the times i get this question about what they should do to switch from manual to automation there is a common question that the individual has most of them fear of failure and do not know how to approach to, to this particular statement in this talk uh, we will discuss about the common questions that linger around the individual's mind the mistakes that the individual do most of the times and in the process we will see how what is the way forward and what is what are the few things that the individual should do so we'll talk about the basic question that any individual has which is how can i make a career shift from manual to automation testing let us see what are the common questions that the individual has one is i do not know coding most of the individuals fear coding they think that they need to do a lot of coding in automation let us see what may be the remedy okay in the coming slides the second question that people have is that my company do not have opportunity they think that since they are in that particular project they cannot do anything which can save them time so they think that not in the pure automation job is the opportunity loss like they do not have that opportunity that they think but believe me there are a lot of things that we can do in a project that considered to be in the automation space automation testing is not about only automating gui or api or database or performance okay or or any uh, related to security and all the third question that most of the people has is that i cannot shift job as i do not know automation so there is lot of opportunities that are there in the market these days which requires automation skills and since they do not have any idea about how to approach to this particular state problem uh, they fear that if they shift job there would be a lot of problem obviously there are when they would go for an interview there are a lot of things that people may ask that they may not answer so they they fear that fourth question is that i joined a company thinking to learn but i couldn't so there are a lot of individuals who joined a company thinking that they would learn automation in the company but they could not because they do not have an idea where to start what to do and even if they look at the things uh, that are running in the company they still have questions and they they think that they cannot do anything for that in that particular project uh the next question is that there is so much to learn where to start so there is function automation api uh then performance security Uh, there's a lot of other stuff that are in, involved, like frameworks like BDD, which is Cucumber or Fitness, or a lot of tools like UFT, LeanFT, Cucum, uh, uh, Protractor, and uh, WebDriverIO or Cypress. So there are different uh, tools. There are different tech. Uh, there is so much in this particular space, so they do not know where to start. so ultimately what they think is that they are stuck and now they do not have any answer to it now this is quite interesting like obviously that there are so much things to do i do not know what to do i'm stuck so let's see what are the things that people can do okay and uh, in the process we will see that the questions that they have asked there are certain things that these people do but they tend to lead to mistakes so let us first see the common mistakes and then see what is the way forward first of all coding is not automation if i if i talk about 
like a lot of projects need coding okay but there are other tasks which you can still go ahead and uh, and which can be deemed as automation like for an example putting a sum uh, function in excel and calculating the addition uh, is also automation okay uh, there may be a macro which you may need to write to verify certain things uh, like some records in an excel that's also automation so it's not like on automation is only gui or api or, or certain things in the application but uh, automation is all can also be related to process as well second mistake that people do is that not figuring out something which can save time so there is a lot of activities that people do in the project but they feel that they are all monotonous and i am not able to get time uh, so you know uh, and i am not able to figure out anything in that project so you need to start looking at those aspects where you can start saving time in the project and that can be deemed as automation the third common mistake is that there's a lot of work where to start like there are a lot of tools tech you know where to start and uh, thinking about too much like you know there are so much to do i'm not sure my friend says that uh, he is automating in cypress other friend says that he is automating in uft i'm not sure which one to choose so there is so much to learn okay and i fear that uh, that i may be lost so let's see you know uh, so that's a, that's the quantum of work that we have and you know people tend to not uh, get into it um, do not start writing with the framework there's a common thing which people always does is like you know start learning an automation framework first or learning about design pattern it's a no no right now you you should not start with the framework you should first understand the 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 technology a tool you know how what's working and all that stuff people also try to get into a certification course and then say that you know they are they are they know automation but it's not the case do not join a certification course unless you know the basics of your technology or or some understanding of the tool the one mistake that people do is that they cannot they do not connect with the mentor they do not see commenter you know they do not go and find out the information from from folks from the com from the social media and all that stuff they they should uh, go to linkedin find out a mentor ask too much questions you know uh, and and then a mentor i think any anybody in the industry will be surely be able to help you there are so many tools which want to pick up so uh, these are the common mistakes that people do now what is the way forward so you need to figure out in your project where you can reduce time that is the first thing master one tech either java or python or javascript one tech understand what are the write the basic programs and start cultivating your logic understand how the statement works loop condition works and all that things learn about data structure and algorithms because data structure and algorithms are very important and people do need uh, the understanding you know in the projects to solve the complex problems learn about one tool understand how the tool works how it is functions how the object getting recognized i would con i would suggest people start with selenium it's easy to understand and and it, it's quite uh, self explanatory also uh, always reason uh, why the things are happening and 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 start learning about the tool most importantly connect to a community like the test tribe they do a lot of workshops and all that stuff so you can connect uh, you can connect with a mentor you can always approach people on linkedin you can also approach me uh, i'm ready to help uh, the individual you can connect me on twitter and linkedin uh, most importantly have passion and love about the work you are doing start investing some money on classic trainings which will be able to push you hard create github repository and create your profile okay so this is very important things to to start showcasing what you guys know last but not the least once you start understanding about the tool 
uh, understand about the tech, practice, practice, and practice, and also start teaching others what you have learned. Because if you teach other people, you would get to learn more about the subject. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy 